Marcus School Districts are breathing a sigh of relief tonight after voters passed referenda this week. Marcus and School District is eligible to receive an increased revenue ceiling through a law Governor Walker signed. The district would see an additional $200 per student next year. Our Rose Schmidt brings us the story from Marcus Ann. Marcus Ann's school district has 821 students, and for a district of this size, passing a referendum could make all the difference in their day-to-day -day operations. It's 17 municipalities, big, a lot of small burgs that, that make us, but everybody comes out to support us. As district administrator Dwayne Bark passes by classrooms, he beams with nothing but pride. Our athletics did very good this year. We got to level four in football, and a lot of people came out to see that. During passing periods, he's quick to point out their accomplishments, even a junior being recruited to play D1 basketball. And he's happy with their academic progress as well. We've made some changes in curriculum and a little bit in staffing, so we went from a DPI report card of 66% to 85.3%, which for K-12 districts, we were in the top 4%. But that costs money. Luckily, the district will gain more than a million dollars in revenue limit authority after passing a referendum this week. That was a, a huge gain for us to be able to get that. It also allowed us to enter into the uh, um, governor's new initiative for extra money with, for the low revenue ceiling. If Marcus Ann voters hadn't approved that, administrators could have applied again in August, which would have been their last shot this year. If it didn't pass in August, then you're looking at over a million dollars worth of cut in a small district, and it would have been a train wreck. At community town halls, the district tried to convey how important the referendum would be. It affects students' students' lives, staff's lives. It would affect your community. Um, you know, people that have homes here, uh, the value of their property. And it looks like the school's hard work paid off. The numbers of students here at Marcus Ann School District could change over the next couple of years. And that would decide how much money the school district gets between now and 2022. In Marcus Ann, I'm Rose Schmidt for WISC News 3. Adams Friendship Area School District is also eligible for extra money after passing a referendum. Well, that'll help them run a balanced budget and maintain current services.